And uh, welcome back to Saturday Sports Special. Six-time former champion jockey Omar Walker was on a roll at Caymanas Park, winning all the three trophy races on Saturday. He won both classic trials, the Sir Howard Stakes for Coles and Geldings, and the Hotline Stakes for Phillies, as well as the Lloyd Lindbergh Linda de la Pena Memorial Trophy. With the 1,000 and 2,000 Guinness just under two months away, the Ian Prasad-trained Bay Gelding Father Patrick showed some class against his six rivals in the Sir Howard Stakes over six furlongs. Going off as the 3-5 to five favorite, Walker and Father Patrick found the pace set by Custer and Universal Boss a little bit to his liking. But after three furlongs, Father Patrick found his best strides and quickly challenged the leader. Has now accelerated and momentum takes Father Patrick to the front inside the final 316th. Tuna Siliata asked to close the gap, but at the moment can't as Father Patrick leads them past the furlong pole. Tuna Siliata chasing in second. Juke is further back in third. Custer has had enough against the rail, but up front it is Father Patrick and Omar Walker by almost two lengths. Tuna Siliata trying hard, but still Father Patrick last and wins the Sir Howard Stakes over Tuna Ciliata, then Duke and Baltasra. After coming back somewhat in the last furlong to the late charging Tuna Ciliata, but winning by three-quarter lengths in 112 flat, assistant trainer Peter John Prasad said the splits of 22 seconds flat and 45 seconds flat proved that Father Patrick will be one of the top contenders for the Classics. It's in a very, very good horse in Costa was on the lead, so to have disposed of that horse and kicked on the way he did was excellent. This race showed us a lot, particularly leading into the Classic, that he can be relaxed and he can be rated. And if he can continue to progress, because that's the key at this point, it's all about progress. If he continues to progress, he will be a very dangerous horse for the Guineas. And we're just hopeful that, that he'll stay sound and healthy. And The hotline stakes for Phillies was a different race for Walker aboard the Speedy Lady Blue. The way in the Costa condition the Chestnut Philly made it a gate-to-wire affair, winning by seven lengths, posting 1 minute 13 and 3 for the distance. Princess Annie races up next with casual drink and Simi now is firmly planted at the back as they've turned for home and it's a lady blue in the white cap, the rider having a look over his shoulder. Any Dina now begins to fade. Princess Lauren has more to do at this stage as they run toward the furlong pole. Can they catch this lady blue and Omar Walker? They're in the last furlong in the hotline stakes and it is a lady blue. She seems to have stamped her authority on the field inside the final 16th. It's all a lady blue. Casual drink trying to come on on the outside but Lady Blue wins by six or more. Princess Lauren holds for second over casual drink. Lady Blue is owned by former champion owner Carlton Watson. Earlier Walker and Ada Costa combined to win the second running of the Lloyd Lindbergh Linda de la Pena Memorial Trophy over a mile with last year's Governor's Cup winner Drummer Boy. After being outpaced, Walker timely positioned the bait code for his kick up the lane. To run. And drummer boy, they have to catch. Here is Lise's Pepsi now launching an attack. Five star beaten with a stick but going nowhere on the rail. Narrowly overtaken by Uncle Vinny. Hey, champ pass to run on. Drummer boy now put to the left hand stick. Lise's Pepsi, a rail threat on the outside. Drummer boy drifting just off a true line but holds the lead by over a length from Lise's Pepsi. And drummer boy will win the Lloyd Lindbergh, Lindy de la Pena Memorial. Trophy. Drummer Boy won by one and three quarter lengths, posting one minute 40 flat. And the champion trainer da Costa is hoping the bait code can be competitive in open allow. Average feel. Um, he was just a little bit, a bit, a little bit better than the average. But I think he wants to go a little bit on the longest side, so eight furlong suited him best.